All right, hey, what's up, guys? The iPhone is rebooted and updated from 3.1.2 to 3.1.3, and now we're just going to use Red Snow to jailbreak and unlock it. Now open up Red Snow and browse for the iPhone firmware. Now it's in the desktop, so we're going to find it. There it is. And you can also jailbreak the 3G iPhone, but you it won't let you unlock it. I don't know why, it just won't let you. And, and let's just press next. And the thing is with the 3.1.3 firmware, you have to use the old 3.1.2 firmware to jailbreak it. And we're going to have all these links in the description of the video for the jailbreaking of the 3G and the 2G and the bootloaders and everything and now you get the options of installing Cydia and unlocking those are the uh, the ones that everyone always uses now we're just going to use those now of course you need the bootloaders because this is a first generation iPhone now if you download it in the video description they're right here just find these And 39 goes with 3.9, and 46 goes with 4.6. All right, now for this part, you're gonna need to turn off your iPhone. Uh, top right button, the power button. Slide power off. Just wait for it to turn off. And then for this part, you're gonna need to hold the top right part for three seconds, and then you're gonna keep on holding on to that and press the home button, which is the center button for 10 seconds together and then at the end you're going to release the top right button and keep on holding the home button alright now we're going to start this hold the power button now hold the home button with it and then we're going to release the power button and keep on holding the home button and we're just going to wait for the iPhone to reboot and as you can see it's jailbreaking and rebooting the screen will go white at this point you can release the uh, home button Everything will be fine. And unlocking does give you the right to put T-Mobile SIM cards in your phone. And we're just going to press finish real quick. And downloading jailbreak data and unlocking gives you the right to put a T-Mobile SIM card in your iPhone so you can be a T-Mobile user with an iPhone and I'm going to show you um, a T-Mobile SIM card in this iPhone and show you if it really works and if it does now as you can see it's jailbreaking Now with the if you put your T-Mobile SIM card everything is exactly how it should be. It says T-Mobile on the top left. I personally have been using the T-Mobile SIM card in the iPhone second generation and I haven't had a problem. And you can also get internet on that and I heard it's actually cheaper than actually getting the full iPhone plan. And as you can see it just takes a little while to jailbreak. But it's simple. And you can also update everything like for your apps when you download in your T Mobile user, everything's the exact same. It's just you're calling on a different plan. Like you can upload apps the exact same, update, plug it into your i your iTunes the exact same way you would as a AT&T user. And we're just gonna wait for the iPhone to reboot and everything will be perfect. And here we 
we go. It gives you the option of unlocking it from the boot neuter. And I will have the links for um, the firmware and the Retino for Windows as well in the video description. And the bootloaders for that as well. The iPhone just rebooting again. And there we have it. Your slide to unlock. Everything's fine. There's Cydia. And we're going to go to settings. And I'm going to show you guys that we're running on 3.1.3 firmware. About. Scroll down. Version. Right there. 3.1.3 AT&T. And now I'm going to plug in a T-Mobile SIM card and show you guys that it does work. As you can see, T-Mobile SIM card. Just gonna put it in the disc, the SIM card slot. Just gonna stick it right in here. And give it some time to read it. As you can see, the top left signs are changing. Straight from I have a voicemail to searching for it, and there we go. There we have it, guys. T Mobile with Wi Fi. Everything's fine. I'll even make a quick call. Alright, I'm making a call. And there we have it, guys. Making a call. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? As you can see, everything works fine. And then hang up. Everything's perfect. And there you have it, guys. And go to, if you want to import your SIM card, you do the exact same as you would. Go to Mail Contacts. And go straight down, uh, straight down, and then import SIM contacts. And that's all, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe if for our upcoming videos. And that's it.